We're live here in North Miami Beach. This is right outside of the Crestview Towers, and that is where residents have been coming throughout the day to pick up their belongings. As far as the long term viability of this building, whether residents will ever be able to come back and live here again, that remains to be seen. But for now, they are taking appointments for people to come and take out furniture, larger items out of the building that they might need. Moving trucks pulling up to the Crestview condo in North Miami Beach Wednesday. Residents returning to retrieve additional belongings from the evacuated building. They are tired of feeling this, this, uh, this complacement that they have in their lives. Starting Monday, residents will have more time to remove larger items like furniture from their units. And people can start making appointments to do that right away. But they say they're having trouble getting solid information. Communication with the tenants, no email, no text. Since the evacuation earlier this month, people were allowed to enter their condo for limited amounts of time to grab necessities. We have two hours to get all our belongings. Then a week later, um, we were able to get some more things for 15 minutes. Everything that I spent so much time, like working, you know, saving up. The Crestview condo was deemed unsafe after an inspection that took place following the Champlain Towers collapse. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle visited the site Wednesday afternoon, and while she stopped short of explaining why she was there, she did discuss the grand jury that's now been impaneled in the wake of Surfside. They are interested and seeing if there were things that could be done, actions that should be taken, laws that should be changed, for instance, after they did with the Hurricane Andrew, in terms of how do we prevent in the future surf sites happening. So again, we don't know the exact reason for Catherine Fernandez Rundle's visit to the site. We don't know if this is her first time being here or if she's been here before. We only know what she said right there. We also know from the chief of police here in North Miami Beach that they are looking into concerns, allegations made by residents who said that there may have been uh, maybe some uh, misappropriation of funds by the condo association here. There's no proof of that as of yet, but it's something that they received so many concerns from residents about that we know that they are looking into that. We're live in North Miami Beach. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.